Recall that any vibrating or oscillating object has the ability to produce a mechanical wave known as a sound wave. Now, the sound wave itself propagates through the medium in which the object is found. That sound wave can be detected by a certain instrument, let's say the microphone or the human ear. And when the sound wave is detected, that concept is known as sound. So sound is essentially the way that a sound wave is perceived by the human ear or some other instrument like the microphone. So, a vibrating object produces a longitudinal wave which propagates through the medium. So, let's suppose we have a loudspeaker and the membrane of the loudspeaker begins to oscillate. It begins to vibrate. And that vibration, in turn, causes the molecules found in the air to vibrate. So, it creates regions of compression and regions of expansion. And that's exactly how our sound wave propagates through our medium through the air. Now eventually these vibrating molecules will reach the human ear. And when they reach the membrane, the eardrum found in the human ear, that eardrum will begin to vibrate, causing the bones to vibrate, and that in turn will send a signal to the brain, and the brain will perceive the sound wave as sound. So, the longitudinal wave travels in the form of vibrating molecules of the medium, in this case the air. And these are detected by the human ear. Now, the speed of sound is different in different mediums, and it really depends on the type of, me on the type of medium that we're using. So, let's look at the following four different types of medium. So, in or five different types of mediums. So we have water, and the speed of sound in water is about 1,440 meters per second. The speed of sound in steel is 5,000 meters per second. The speed of sound in glass is 4,500 meters per second. The speed of sound in helium is 1,005 meters per second. And finally, the speed of sound in air under one atmospheric pressure and at zero Celsius is 331 meters per second. Now, when we're talking about our propagating wave or the speed of the propagating wave in air, the speed depends on temperature. And the equation that gives us the velocity of our sound wave in air is given by the following formula. So, the velocity in air is approximately equal to 331 meters per second plus 0.6 multiplied by T, where T is the temperature in Celsius. So let's look at the following example in which we're going to apply this formula. Thunder is heard 10 seconds after lightning strikes the ground at some unknown location. We want to calculate the distance the sound wave travels. Let's suppose the temperature of the air is 25 degrees Celsius. So let's suppose we have lightning that strikes at some unknown distance from a person that is listening to that lightning. Now, lightning strikes, it produces thunder, it produces a sound wave, and that sound wave propagates through the air. To calculate the distance, we have to multiply the time by the velocity of the sound wave. So the velocity of the sound wave is given by this formula. So 331 meters per second multiplied by 0.6 times times the time, or times the temperature, so 25 degrees Celsius, multiplied by the time of 10 seconds. So we have 346 meters per second multiplied by 10 seconds, and we get 3,460 meters is the distance between where the lightning strikes and where the person is listening to that thunder to the sound wave produced by that lightning strike. So this is approximately 2.2 miles.
Now, let's move on to the third section. What exactly is loudness and what exactly is pitch? So, both of these quantities are simply sensations that are perceived by the human brain. And these are relatively subjective. Now, both of these types of quantities are each determined by its own physical quantity. So, something called intensity determines the loudness of a sound wave. And intensity is simply the rate of change of energy per unit area. So, it's simply how much power travels through a certain area. And frequency determines our pitch. So, the higher the frequency, the higher the pitch. The lower the frequency, the lower the pitch. Now, usually we talk about something known as the audible frequency. Audible frequency simply refers to a range of frequency values that the human brain can perceive and it ranges from, from as low as 20 Hertz to as high as 20,000 Hertz. Now, if the frequency is below 20 Hertz, that is known as infrasonic frequency. And if it's above 20,000 Hertz, it's known as ultrasonic frequency.